Good day everyone and welcome to Slosh Money. Today we're going to be going over overclocking and undervolting your graphics cards while mining on NiceHash on Windows 10. I will leave the link in the description below for MSI Afterburner download. Let's start with downloading MSI Afterburner. Once MSI Afterburner has been downloaded, we're going to install 4.6.2 now that MSI Afterburner has been installed we can see which graphics cards we have and we can actually change the settings for each graphics card. So we're going to be changing the power limit, the core clock, the memory clock and the fan speed of each graphics card while mining. So let's see what our default settings mine at. As we can see, our RX 5700 XT is running at 53 mega hash at 178 watts. And if we look at our NVIDIA cards, 2070 Super is running at 37 mega hash at 165 watts. And the 1070 is running at 27 mega hash at 136 watts. And as you can see, these three graphics cards are making $3.72 a day. And Bitcoin is at $18,636. Last time it was this high was in December 2017 when it reached almost $20,000. Okay, so we're mining at $3.75, we can see our speeds, we can see what algorithm we're mining, and which miner we're using, which is Phoenix Miner. Okay, let's see if we can increase the efficiency of these graphics cards, dropping the power limit, and increasing the mega hash. Let's start with decreasing the power limit to minus 50% and see what it does to the graphics cards and performance. We're trying to decrease the electricity that we're using for the mining rig. As you can see, it dropped from 185 watts to 150 watts, which is great. We're still mining at a 53 mega hash. Okay, let's drop the core clock to 1400, see if that does anything to the power limit and performance. We're still using about 115 watts. And if we increase our memory clock to 1820, graphics cards are running a bit hot at 75 degrees. Let's change the fan speed to about 70 and see what that does. As you can see, changing the fan speed to about 70 watts drops it down to about 60 degrees. 
let's turn it up to 100% so we will leave this card as is with those settings so we dropped our power limit to 50%. We decreased our clock rate to 1400. Mining Ethereum, you don't need clock rate. You need, you need to increase your memory clock to get better performance. Memory, we increased to 1820. And the fan speed, we pushed up to 100%. Our temperatures are now 53 degrees, overclocked and undervolted. Our wattage has dropped from 175 to 114, which is great. So we're going to leave the settings as is for the 5700 XT. Let's take a look at the RTX 2070 Super. So at default, So at default, we're running at 37 mega hash. It's running at 72 degrees, dropping our power limit to 58%. We went from 172 watts to 129 watts. card is still running at 37 mega hash with Nvidia graphics cards you are able to overclock the cards a lot better so let's push our memory up to 1500 As you can see, we're going from 37 mega hash to about 46 mega hash. The problem with overclocking it that much, you might get rejected shares. So let's see if we get any rejected shares. We're getting 46.3 mega hash per second. No rejected shares as yet. Let's drop our core clock to minus 100. See if we can drop our power limit even further. Okay, we drop by uh, 3 watts. Graphics card is running at 61 degrees. Let's push our fan speed up to about 70. We're still above 46 mega hash per second, which is not bad. Still using 124 watts. Oh, I see we have a stale share over there. Still on 123 watts. Let's drop this down even further to say 100 and let's drop it down to about 200. 
and see if it affects our hash rate. One twenty two watts, still running at forty six point three mega hash. Let's leave the RTX 2070 Super for now. Let's go down to the GTX 1070. This is two generations back. These cards do use a little more power than versus the performance that we're getting out of it. So let's see what we can do. We're going to drop it to 75 power limit. We're going to increase the memory by 750 and see what it does. As you can see, power limit has dropped from 137 watts to 116. Mining Ethereum with a slightly older card like the 1070, we actually need to increase the core clock rate. So let's do 100. At the moment we're getting 24.5. We are using about 113 watts. Let's increase this to maybe 80%. Reaching 26 mega hash. Cards running at 57 degrees, as we can see over there. GTX 1070 should be able to run at 30 mega hash. I'm going to push up the power limit to 85 and increase the fan speed to 70. Let's save these settings. So that we don't have to set them again at the later stage when the PC reboots. Oh, we got an incorrect she. Okay, so let's try dropping this down to maybe 1400. If we look at our GTX 1070, we've pushed the power limit at 85%. It is using about 125 watts. As you can see, the RTX 2070 Super is using about 122 watts. But the hash rate is almost double. The newer cards these days are a lot more efficient. Let's leave it for about 15 minutes and see if we get any other rejected shares, our stable it runs, and our mega hash and wattage. Has increased our profits for the day, and we've decreased the wattage of each graphics card. Let's see if we get any rejected shares in the next 15 minutes.
Welcome back everyone. As you can see, it has been running stable. Um, don't think we had any rejected shares. Which seems to be good. And this rig is, well, it's now making almost $5. So that's pretty good. So I will leave this rig to run as is on Windows, mining on NYSASH, which has been overclocked and undervolted. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and that it was informative. Thank you for watching and supporting the channel. Please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.